In this video, we're going to take a look at the continue keyword, which is closely related to the break keyword. Let's change break to continue. Once again, this is a keyword in Python and it's a keyword in most programming languages. I can think of one, there's a programming language called Perl, where it's not called continue. In Perl, it's called next, if I remember correctly, but it does the same thing even in that case. So what does it actually do? Well, break will cause the looping, the iteration, just to stop and execute whatever's after that in the program. So break will actually stop your loop. Continue doesn't stop the iteration. It just skips whatever's next in this particular iteration. I'll show you what I mean. So let's run this. So if I hit return here, of course it carries on as normal. We print starting loop number, whatever it is. We ask the user if they want to stop the loop. We print ending loop number, whatever it is. And then we go to the next iteration of the loop. Supposing I press Y here and enter. Do you see the difference? We again, we've gone to the next iteration of the loop, but what's happened is we've skipped this. So we're going to skip whatever remains after this continue keyword in the rest of that particular iteration of the loop. So we've got starting loop number zero and ending loop number zero, but then we've got starting loop number one. There is no ending loop number one here. We've gone straight to starting loop number two. So do try this out for yourself. I would just suggest trying it out and making sure that you understand what effect this has on your program. It is a keyword that you're gonna find useful later on. Hello, you've been watching a free sample from my Python and machine learning for complete beginners course. I'm uploading enough videos from the start of the course to get you started with Python and machine learning. The full course is absolutely massive. If you're interested in it, please click the link in the description. The complete course covers not only basic Python, but also some fairly advanced Python, even some desktop programming stuff, and then goes on to machine learning and artificial intelligence. Until next time, happy coding.